This is a visualisation of work by Fredrickson and colleagues showing how tibial stress fractures are classified using MRI. Here we see the cross section of a long bone, the tibia. We see the dense outer surface called the periosteum to which tendons and ligaments attach. Beneath this is compact and spongy bone and then a layer called the endosteum which lines the medullary cavity. Each structure has a role in bone homeostasis, that is the balance of getting rid of old bone and creating new. Fredrickson describes four grades of stress fracture. Grade 1 describes where there is edema or swelling to the outer periosteal layer. Grade 2 describes edema being seen on T2 weighted images. On T2 scans, edema is a bright white signal so is easy to see and compare with normal structure. Grade 3 describes edema being seen on both T2 and T1 weighted images. Compared to a T2 image, on T1 the edema will be dark and harder to differentiate from normal structure. But now the area of edema is larger so it's easier to see. Grade 4 describes signal changes in the compact and spongy bone and now a visible fracture line is seen. MRI is the gold standard for stress fracture imaging. But remember that the grading of stress fracture by MRI does not necessarily correlate with the symptoms. As such, a thorough examination is very important and you should seek out an appropriately skilled professional. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Walker, physical therapist and owner of PhysioWorks in Huntsville, Alabama. www.physioworkshsv.com